So, I just finished watching the finale of Chucky Season 3. And I just felt like talking about the show. Because I freaking love the show. I gotta be honest with y'all. When they announced that they would do a Chucky TV series in the first place, I was a bit skeptical. But only at the beginning. Because then I found out that Don Mancini is writing it and directing it or is part of it, you know? So that eased my conscience. And I was looking forward to it. And for good reason, because all three seasons of the show are really amazing and really well done. Like actually deep it. The original movie came out in 1988 and we're still going. Like, this is a continuous story. It's been 36 years since the original one. Isn't that crazy? That we have one story over 36 years. Like, this is basically... Um, Chucky is basically the one piece of horror. <laughs> I just think it's so amazing that even after all these years, uh, Brad Dourif is still the voice of Chucky. Don Mancini is still involved in the show. Like, I just think that's incredible, you know? And I actually like all of the movies, including Seed of Chucky. There's just something about all of them that just, it's just good, you know? Like, I feel like Chucky is one of those people, either you like it or you don't. I don't think there's any in between. I also kind of love how different all of these movies are, or most of the movies. Like some of them are very serious, like Curse of Chucky, and actually scary, and some of them are in between, like the original one, or some of them are just straight up a comedy, like, like Seed of Chucky. Who the hell are you? <laughs> face. <laughs> now what kind of a name is that? Where are your mother and father? Judging from that face, my guess is they're hiding. I just think that's like it's such a nice balance, and it's it's just amazing. It really, it really is. If you've never seen any of the Chucky movies, I don't really know why you're here then. But I would definitely recommend seeing them. They they're really great. It's also a really bold move to like to go from movies to a show, which is why I was also skeptical in the first place. But like I said, they did a really great job. Alright, let's talk about season 3. In this season, Chucky really didn't give a fuck. I mean, he didn't give a fuck in any of the seasons, but in this one, he really wanted to see the whole world burn. I mean, my guy almost blew up the whole world. Like, that's incredible. Like, just the whole White House story, I think, was incredible. And it's like, it's really well made, you know? Like, all of the characters were good. You cared about the characters, yeah, like you care about the three main characters, which is also really important. Like they beat Chucky two times, they have to beat him again because it just doesn't die, does he? Go ahead and shoot! I'll be back! I always come back! It's also such a funny show, like it doesn't take itself seriously. That's what I love about Chucky in general. It's one of those shows which who can do whatever they want, you know? Like they straight up dissed other horror movies, you know? That just is incredible. Oh, no. What are you doing? No. Kill me now. <laughs> ah, little bitch, she stole my moves. Fuck you, but three gun. Also, finally a horror show, or like, like a media in general, who lets their villain win. I'm talking about you, Halloween Ants. That's actually one of the only things I didn't like about Halloween Ants, that Michael didn't win. And I gotta be honest, I'm so glad that Chucky won. I really, I'm really, I really am. Like, I'm not gonna cap, I was scared he would die, because, um... I mean, he did die, he, but you know what I mean. Like, um, like actually die. Like after the, like after the end of season, uh, of episode 7, I really thought um, they would kill him off for good in the last episode and that would be it for him. 
but I'm glad they didn't. Also, when Tiffany escaped, I knew my boy Chucky was safe. Let's talk about Tiffany's escape. Like, I think, like Jennifer Tilly is so incredible. Like, her storyline was also so great. And of course, what makes um, like the doll Tiffany so good is, of course, Jennifer Tilly. Like, she's just so good at what she does here. She really embodies this character. Like, her whole escape was really savage and incredible. Like, really badass. I also love that Jake met the actual Charles Lee Way. Like, we came, we came full circle, you know? Like, Brad, Brad Dourif returning. Like, actually returning to play Charles Lee Way. 36 years later, isn't that incredible? <laughs> like, I did not see that coming. That's incredible. I mean, Brad Dourif, really, he is Chucky. Like, no one else can be him. I know they tried it with the reboot, but... Like, like with Nightmare and Abbey Street, um, Robert England being Freddy, it's the same with Brad Turif being, uh, being Chucky. Like both his voice and also the actual Charles Lee Way. Also, by the way, Jake laughing while uh, punching Timmy uh, caught me really off guard. <laughs> like, um, the actor Zachary Arthur must, must have had such a blast filming this. Like, just the show in general. Or the scene where he said, um... When he introduced himself, like, this is Devon, or I'm Jake, this is Devon, and we're homosexual, like, <laughs> Are you Mr. Wilkins? Who are you? My name is Jake Wheeler, and this handsome young man is the light of my life, Devon Evans. We're homosexuals, and this is our fag hag gift that Alexandra Cross. Jake! Like, the show is actually so funny. Also love that we got the tour back to the previous Chucky movies and the seasons. Um, when, um... When Chucky showed Jake, like, the Chucky Room, the movie theater, you know. I also love the twist at the end with the actual creator of the good guy doll being um, one of Chucky's uh, accomplices. And also the fact that he still had the original dolls. And, yeah, Chucky and Tiffany now being the actual original dolls is amazing. Also, can we talk about the fate of... Um, Lexi, Jake, and Devon, like, that's gotta be worse than death, you know? If Nika doesn't save them, then that's a really bad fate. <laughs> like, stuck in a doll's body, while still being conscious, of course, like, that's gotta be horror. Of course, at the end, they made it look like, um, uh, the queer of the dolls shot Nika, but I definitely think that he, yeah, that he, that he missed. So they did, set, they did set up a fourth season, with Chucky and Tiffany now being free, and in their, in the, in back in their adults' bodies, and with them basically defeating them, but of course there's still Nika, like I said, and it's, this ending was perfect, in my opinion, because if the show now got cancelled, for whatever reason, then I actually wouldn't be mad, because they did a really great job here with the finale. Like, if this is the end, then you can basically say, well, Chucky and Tiffany won, and, yeah, Jake, Lexi, and Devin are stuck in the doll's body forever, and, and, um, Nika got shot, you know? Like, you just have to use your imagination. But, of course, they wanted to chat, they wanted to, um, set up a fourth season, so, that's why I said Nika probably isn't dead, and it's gonna save the three of them. This is also a good um, opportunity to bring back Andy and Kyle for the fourth season, in my opinion. Also, only Chucky could pitch a fourth season him himself. <laughs> like, that's that also caught me off guard. Like, that's freaking hilarious. Like, Chucky himself, yeah, pitching a fourth season himself. Like, <laughs> I love it. I also love how, like, how smart he actually is. Like, he didn't need Dambala at the end to uh, resurrect him. Like, that's such a genius move. Like, his whole plan was so good. Also, them actually showing Dambala um, was also great. Like, we know from, like, we know of Dambala since the original movie. And now, actually having him talk, you know, even if it was Chucky, like, that's actually, that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, it was such a great season again. And I do hope they'll make a fourth season. 
I don't think there's any news yet on whether we get the fourth season, but I do I do know that Tom Mancini has already an idea. And yeah, I believe what Chucky in general, not just the show, but and everything about him is um, like what makes him so great is the unpredictable of it all. Like his movies and the shows are so unpredictable. Um, the kills are always amazing. It's also such a funny show and movies as well. Like one of my favorite quotes of him in the seasons is I killed more people than you have Instagram followers. <laughs> That's such a great quote. And yeah, it's the fact that Don Mancini is still involved, you know? Like, I just love that. Same with Brad Dourif, like I said. Also, I liked how they finally confirmed what I think a lot of us thought, that Chucky was indeed unbeatable. Like, they basically confirmed it by saying, yeah, in this season, that as long as he has, um, like, his bond with Dambala, he always returns. So that's just that's really so that's really cool. Like it's like if you actually think about it, it's almost impossible to beat him. So technically, this season had the best chance of them beating him because of uh, the good guy Chucky. So I don't know how they would beat him now in the fourth season. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, this season was amazing. And like like the other two seasons, um, I just love this show, and I really hope we get a fourth season because. I just can't get, can't get enough of um, this character. And yeah, I would actually say um, that Chucky is the best horror character or monster, whatever you want to call him of all time. I really believe that. I just don't think there's anyone like him. And he is my favorite. He's my, he's my goat in my opinion. That's why he's the goat! The goat! <laughs> and yeah, that was it. Let me know what you thought of the season, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay brave.